Hello, Alana. Oh, look at over hat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right, she's got some presents for me. Let's have a look what she has. Thank you. Oh, I think this is an outfit for me. Oh, I'm happy because I definitely did not dress for the weather. Oh, this is so cute. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, I do be looking cute though. Oh my goodness, look at me! <laughs> this is so adorable. Hello everybody, this is another island tour this time. We're gonna have a look at Alana's island called Seashell. Um, this island is in winter at the moment, so this is the first winter island that we've ever toured on this channel. So this is a little bit, a little bit different for you guys. I hope you like it. Um, I know a lot of us haven't seen winter yet in Animal Crossing, but I believe her island is on the southern hemisphere, um, and that's why it's winter now because it is actually winter in the southern hemisphere. Okay. So before we get started, let's just check out her map. So there she is, Lani, Alana. Uh, we got Josh. We have Boris. I really like Boris. I really, really like him. Lolly, Dobie, Ketchup, Blanche, Maple, Coco, Eel, Tutu, <laughs> Lily, and Blair. Okay, I like seeing different animals on um, people's islands. You, you tend to see the bog standard like eight or nine villages that you see a lot. So it's nice to see different ones like Boris and, and Blanche and Lily sometimes. Okay, so her map, a lot of terraforming. Um, the paths are very skinny. I really like my skinny paths, so I'm sure I'll like this. She has her houses dotted around, so that's similar to what I do as well. And her campsite looks kind of hidden at the back there, so I'll be very interested to see what she's done with that. Alright, let's have a look at this entrance though. Look how beautiful this looks, especially in winter. They look like real Christmas trees, don't they? <laughs> it's adorable. All the butterfly models. I love it. Ooh, okay, this looks like it's a little pond. Yeah, with the ducks on and the fish under it. Kind of looks frozen over, which is perfect for this, this season. Okay, let's squeeze through this bit. <laughs> oh, somewhere to study the butterflies. God, I love the butterfly models so much. I'm so happy that she's used them on this island. Oh, the mermaid set. Very cool. Oh, this fish. What is that? I love it. I've never seen it. <laughs> this is adorable. It's like a mermaid cafe. Wow. It's so magical. <laughs> Dobie's house. I like how she's put a fossil on his door as if he is, you know... Well, he's an old man, but I don't, <laughs> don't know if he's that old, but... <laughs> It's kind of funny. Oh, whoa, a market. Okay, cool. I love the beach markets. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> the ukulele just on the floor. What's on the pier? Oh, just somewhere to come and read again about the butterflies. Maybe you can stargaze from here as well. I bet this looks gorgeous at night, actually. With that... Uh, What's it called? Lamppost? Yeah, the lamppost and the star fragment. <laughs> the pinwheel. So cool. Oh, a little fishing spot. What are these? These are sea butterflies, I think. <laughs> Such a cute QR detail with the puddle underneath. Very cute. We also have Coco's house over here with Dobie. 
And this looks like a little pottery area. <laughs> this is maybe someone who helps you with the pottery. <laughs> and then you have the clay and the unglazed dish set. Wow. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I love when people use this little bag with the bare face. I love the cliff decoration with the stonehenge and the the wind flower fan. Oh, whoa, the rock garden. Oh, I'm so jealous. Can someone please do this on my island because I'm too lazy to do it. <laughs> it takes too long. I don't know how people have the patience. that Maple's house? Oh, I think it is. If she has a teddy bear picnic, very, very fitting. How adorable. I don't want to go too far up because I don't want to miss the beach. So let's just see the second part of the beach first. Ooh, outdoor bath area. Maybe it's a bit cold for that right now, but... Maybe it's connected to like a hot spring or something. So you just get lovely warm water. That would be nice. Let's carry on up this windy path. I don't want to go across yet because I did see the gnomes here. And I think they're having a tea party. This is adorable. They're reading about acorns. Are you kidding me? Look at that. <laughs> That's so funny. Look at them. I love that. <laughs> oh, the gnomes. All well, the decorations on the the dirt path. <laughs> Toss a coin in. I want to leave some. I want to do my own. Okay, I wished that I get 2k subs on YouTube. <laughs> Alani, you gotta make it happen now. <laughs> Beautiful stargazing area. Very nice. I really like these star fragments. This one, I think, is one of my favorites. This color, the Libra one. I really like the pink one as well. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's squeeze through this little section. Oh my goodness, she's even used the standy things, like the hedge standy things. That's so cool. Ooh. Okay, a movie theater. Outdoor movie theater. The creepy baby's watching a movie. I hope it's PG-13. Wait, why can't I sit down on that? Oh, there's a star frag. Okay, I'm a dummy. Oh, they're watching my hiccup video, my two minute hiccup video. Very nice. Good, good taste. Fruit stand. Is there an orchard nearby? Goodness, I feel like I'm so lost, but I love it. Campsite. <laughs> this is me if I went to a campsite. Just bring all my tech with me because I don't think I could cope with no, no tech. <laughs> this terraforming is stunning. That's such a good idea to have that up here at the back. Because it would be this high up so that all the boats could see it. I love it so much. I keep seeing little sections I want to get to like down there. But I need to be patient. Alright, this is the museum. Very nice. This goldfish is kind of weird. I think it's like the one with the really big eyes. Yeah, those in real life are kind of creepy. But they're cute still. We got all the paintings. I wonder if they're fake or not. I'm not very good at telling. The mammoth. Beautiful. Oh, I love this waterfall. It looks so pretty. What the heck? All this orange. It looks so good. A little bee section. Honey section. squeeze through outdoor library love it so classy i don't know again if you'd want to <laughs> sit out here in the snow but maybe if you're wrapped up warm like alana made sure i was then maybe you will beautiful terraforming here 
beautiful. Oh, another little pond. <gasps> Whoa, is that like a hammock in the middle of the pond? That's so cool. It's like a lilo. And the ducks. Beautiful. <laughs> I love these frozen ponds. They look so cool. I'm gonna have to hop across. Hop. 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 Just a bit of role play. <laughs> and the secret beach. Again, I wish that Red would come more so I could see him in my tours because I bet these areas look even better with the boat. Red, you need to come more often. Let's hop back across. Another pond. Oh my goodness. Hop. 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 This is her house. Ooh. Alright, I'm getting kind of witchy foresty vibes here. She's got a lavender farm. <gasps> is this a stable? Like a little stable with the horses? And the little ram. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? Uh, <laughs> this is adorable. Okay, let's go inside. Check out her house. Ooh, yes. Very witchy, very cottagey. With the mushroom stuff and the tapestries on the wall. Even the tiny library in here. Look at this outfit hanging up as well. That's like one of my favorites. The witch hat. Very, very pretty. Oh, this is a bedroom. I don't normally see a bedroom at the back here like this. Usually it's one of the bigger rooms, like the upstairs one. But there's not really that much you can put in a bedroom unless you do like a bedroom sitting area. But you can squeeze that in here, so I think it's quite a good idea to use one of the smaller rooms for it. <laughs> Look at the snow outside, how cozy is this? So cozy. Oh, the bathroom! Slash laundry, yes. I'm seeing this more and more and I really, really like this. Having like a separate tiny laundry area in your bathroom. It's such a good idea. Oh, this is beautiful. I want this room in real life. God. You don't see this flooring enough either. This is... I think Audi has this in her house. But this is beautiful. Oh yeah, witchy vibes. I got the witchy vibes from outside. <gasps> She's in here asleep. Oh my goodness, that scared me. <laughs> yes, the witchy vibes are for real. Wow. So crazy how I could just tell that there was going to be something witchy from the outside of the house. I bet she turns these into princes. <laughs> so beautiful. I'm scared she's going to wake up. We have to leave quietly. Oh, the kitchen upstairs. Yeah, I do see this a lot as well upstairs. And this yellow with the mushrooms. Oh no. The carrot cake. She did warn me and say, please don't give me a one star rating because the carrot cake. And I don't know, Alana. I don't know if this can be forgiven. It is a sin. But the rest of the house is really nice. Just, you know, de delete the cake. Delete the cake. Put the little one with the chicken. Instead. Alrighty, let's carry on. Cool, witchy house. Ketchup's house. <laughs> the red tea bar. It fits so perfectly. Oh, this is adorable. I love these paths as well she's made. It's the QR on top of the, I think it's the dirt path, the dark one though. Hop, hop, hop. 
<laughs> or maybe it is frozen over so I can just walk on it. I don't know. The role play is real though. Beautiful post office. I'm seeing this more and more and I love it so so much. Such a good idea. I love that. Oh, this QR is cute. This small one. This Blanche, yeah, Blanche. There's a message. Favorite saying is nothing beats personal experience. True, Blanche, you're very right. Let's go under the arch. Oh, another frozen lake. I'm just gonna pretend I can walk on it now because I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't want him to keep hopping. Teddy bear picnic, adorable. <gasps> a pine cone, okay. We're gonna pretend that's not piney. Wow, I'm definitely going around this island in the worst way, but it's okay. <laughs> a cornfield? Even the corn sack. What the heck? I've never seen this QR. What a cute QR though. Oh, I need to stop being so lazy. I need to get all these QRs for you guys. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Another teddy bear picnic with the higgledy piggledy mismatch chairs. I love that so much. It looks like something out of a fairy tale. Love the onsen. The laundrette on the rock. Beautiful sink. The corral fencing looks really good here actually on the beach. Whoa, this QR as well, Alana. Give us the deets, girl. We need these. Oh yes, I love this. Okay, very, very cute. A plant stool. Well, plant stools on the on the rock. I'm just looking out to the sea. <laughs> I wonder if that duck swims in the sea. It's like a tropical duck. I wouldn't go in there at the moment. It's winter. You might you might freeze. Alrighty, I want to see the Able Sisters, which I think is up this way. We have a cabbage patch. Oh, look at these QRs, what? This dress with the trees on, adorable. And that patchwork dress. Okay, so this is where they make their outfits for the store. <laughs> the shoes on the bench. Cute, very cute. I love how there's just random like seating areas everywhere and you can just like stop and grab a a cup of tea or a coffee. Let's scoot down this way. Is there anything on the beach? Just a sandcastle. <laughs> oh, this is the peninsula. Whoa. This is pretty. I love this. Another stargazing area. You can just chill with your friends, look at the sky at night. Again, I bet this looks gorgeous at night with the star frags on the floor. <laughs> Some more gnomes having a picnic. Very cute. I wonder if she got all the different colours from... Whoa! I was going to say from my catalogue in part 2, but look at this! I love how unique these farms are becoming. With people using lights, people using plants, people using hats. Beach balls, everything. Oh, it's also beautifully color coordinated. I can't, this is stunning. And a farm on the beach. Oh, it's so adorable. This looks like a little tomato farm. <laughs> this is so cute. Got the lovely oven, the pizza oven. They probably get the tomatoes for the pizza sauce from there. Oh, the little sushi fish area. Oh no, the chopping board's right there. <laughs> That's kind of morbid, but it's chill. So cute. Wow, she's really thought very 
hard about what to put in every area it it definitely shows all right this is tom nook shop the nook's cranny not to be confused with the drag queen who goes by a similar name very cute i like how it's tucked away inside the cliffs oh the piano okay what <laughs> Uh, hello. I love that. I did something similar on Onset and having a piano up there. But mine didn't look anywhere near as good as that. <laughs> I just love seeing random stuff on cliffs. I think it's really awesome. Alright, let's see if there's anything in here. I, I don't know though. I don't think there is. Oh, okay. Um, I'm shook. There is. This is definitely a hotel look at that whoa this is the reception all right i just checked a couple of the rooms it looks like the hotel's under renovation but wow this is gonna be such a cool house when it's done really nice idea it's like a beach um hotel Hey Doby, he's just vibing on the beach. Oh, the butterfly models again! Yay! Wow, this island feels so big. There's so much to explore. I like the garden wagon on the beach there. Very cute. What's this? It's like a coffee area. I think so, you can grab a cup of coffee and then come and sit on the beach with your friends. Oh, look at all this cliff decoration. Oh, hey Blanche. Let's just check I'm not missing anything. Oh, so this is the residence services. All right, so we're back in the center of things let's get over there oh i love when you walk past cliffs and you can see beautiful detail on top of them all right so we've been over this side before i think but i don't remember seeing this little bug section what a good bug research area <laughs> very fun Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh, is it a fly? Ew. <laughs> Just these pops of colour as well. Look at the blue and the purple. The blue inside the garden wagon and the blue on the butterfly. They match so perfectly with this house. I love when people get colour theory like that. Looks really, really good. <laughs> Another farm. Hey Maple, all the butterflies are flying above the pond. So sweet. So, so sweet. Oh, okay, we're the other side now. All right, so I didn't cross this before, but here's the chicken coop. Ah, oh, it's so cute with the corn. They probably get it from the cornfield that we passed earlier. Adorable little picnic spot. Up. Uh, are we gonna pretend we do not see that carrot cake? Let's see if we can cover it with my umbrella. Okay, there we go. So we have a lovely gnome eating nothing. Cool. Oh, a mushroom cafe. I think me and my brother said in one of our videos that the cafes that have the mushroom signs like this serve mushroom flavor coffee. <laughs> and I don't know what it would taste like. I think it'd be so gross. I've definitely gone around this island in such a higgledy piggledy way, but I'm loving every second of it. It's so beautiful. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I kept getting more hyped and hyped as I saw more and more of this. Look at it. Beautiful. 
Oh, this is lovely. Absolutely stunning. Wait, is this the in-game wood? I think it might be. Wow, it just looks really good here. It looks darker than normal. Is that just because it's winter, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. These trails and these paths with the decoration either side. So fun. All right, we're near, nearly done, I think. We're nearly back at the beginning. I'm gonna go up right from this section because I didn't get to see it the first time. But also, just look how windy this is. Like, you can get to everywhere in, on this island just by following, like, one single path. Wow. So cool. All right, I think we managed to see everything on this island. Let's hope so. It was absolutely amazing. I really, really enjoyed this one, Alana. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for letting us come over. I know it's very hard uh, with time zones because we're from very different places in the world, but I really appreciate you letting me come and I'm so glad we could sort out a time. Guys, if you like this island, please like the video. Also tell Alana thank you for letting us come over and see her island. I will put her Instagram in the description so you can go follow her and check out her Instagram. It is absolutely stunning as well. If you would like me to tour your island, there is now a island submission form. If you go into the Discord, you'll be able to find it under one of the channels. Thank you again, Alana, and I will see you guys either in the next video or the next live stream. Bye, guys!